Hey what's up everyone, it's Mr. Crucial here at my test world. This is a quick video on bud processor arrays. So the bud is block update detection. These are two freaking awesome arrays basically that you can hook up. Um, the reason why you'd want to do an array is if you're going to use a piston version of a bud switch, you can't line up the detection zones nice and tight beside each other. So that's where this thing comes into play. It uh, does the same thing as a regular bud switch. It detects updating blocks. Um, this one is just redstone torches, wire, and a repeater. I've seen Robotikos building this one on his awesome live stream. So go check out his live stream. But the way it works is this one torch here at the end is not a part of the loop. So it is standalone power and what it is doing is powering both these lines here but you can see that there's a little bit of a glitch in play it looks like it's only powering the top line its true value meanwhile these torches down here should also be powering that line up there but they're not so this line doesn't know these torches exist until you update it when you update it it will send a signal around through the repeater and light putting the torches temporarily out like that and resetting itself so anywhere along this redstone line will update the circuit and you can draw your output right from here so the inputs any of the bo block update detection zones and that's really freaking cool it has its advantages and disadvantages its advantage is very low on resource, but its disadvantage is you have to stick with the same length. It's the way the torch works. I think you have like one or two blocks of space to play with, but that's not very much. Whereas this one, you can pretty much customize the length up to 14 blocks. And it, it's very simple as well. It's just powered tracks with a detector rail. Detector rail has a redstone torch on it that powers this line up here and you want to loop the minecart track around to the minecart but cut straight off so when this power track here gets powered it will actually propel the minecart but uh, this one is detection zones are anywhere around the minecart track and you can see it loops around disadvantage of this one is you have to wait for it to reset as well so it does take a little bit to reset but you can draw your output from this line here and the inputs are any of the detection zones <laughs> so those are two freaking awesome bud arrays please rate comment and subscribe peace